Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and do not answer the fraudsters on the feed. I do not do personal readings. So today I'd like to talk about the um, calculated measures that Megan and Harry go to as we know and become accustomed to. Uh, more than likely they will drop a photograph of Archie on the day of the coronation just like they coronated the births of you know, the birth of Archie, uh, probably all know welling that this would be the situation uh, with the date because it is the anniversary of the ascension of George V to the throne in 1910. So it does coincide with that. So everything seems to be very organized as well as the June 4th supposedly <clears throat> birth of Lilibet uh, for the Platinum Jubilee. You know, all these things are planned in advance so they know that. So and also, you know, she always drops things on other people's events, like uh, saying that she was pregnant at Eugenie's wedding. So, you know, she's always having to um, ride over other people's plans to get the attention, just to steal the limelight, as we know. She's kind of a, I guess I'll just say it, she's a fame whore. Okay, so I said it. <clears throat> yeah, we all know that, though. There's no surprise to that, right? <laughs> So, yeah, they seem to have supernatural powers, according to some people. They say, wow, it just seems like they have these supernatural powers. But no, it's it's all planned and calculated, as we know. So let's just get some spread, some some um, some information off the tarot and find out um, about the Archie. The Archie and um, Coronation. You know, she's brewing. She's stewing. She's brewing her witch's brew, figuring out what is she going to do. What is she going to do? Probably. And it's also, you know, HG Tudor did a video on her mental health going south. It dropped on um, uh, social media and on the tabloids that she's a head case and falling apart. No surprise there. We've always known that here. Um, and, um, yeah, who knows how legitimate it is. And that apparently, quote, unquote, the... The firm was not surprised that she is a bipolar narcissist, is what it said. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, and that, uh, yeah, she's kind of like um, teetering on the edge of sanity right now, which that I could totally believe. I know she's teetering on the edge of sanity right now because major, major narc collapse right now. I'm sure she's having a very tough time getting out of bed. And it's been good. She's been quiet for a few weeks now. And I don't think it has absolutely nothing to do with her being pregnant and having morning sickness or anything like that it, or probably even planning anything i think she's probably at this point in time incapable of even planning except she might be able to uh fanatically come up with a plan on t the type of imagery she probably wants in terms of showing off archie on the coronation day so we do know that's going to come so let's just get some fun cards on this let's just find out coronation day how is Markle going to be on Coronation Day? And Harry, uh, he's probably going to, as far as I'm concerned, he's probably going to get really intoxicated. <laughs> uh, I think they both will. Uh, not feeling part of the situation and feeling left out, you know. Uh, they don't need an invite, like I was saying here. So we have Three of Cups. Yeah, Three of Cups is the party card. <laughs> party down, party down, lots of drinking. I'm just going to look for some some kind of friendship, someone to give me support. Yes, please. So she's going to try and find someone to gather with and raise a glass. Yeah, because that would be healing for her. So she's going to try and raise a glass, find someone to hang out with her. Uh, same with Harry. Challenging position here is the four of pentacles in reverse should have accepted the love should have accepted what was offered and that was a challenging position because it's the card of indifference um and here it's just boredom more than likely she's gonna feel bored it's kind of a fractured emotional psyche because they can't accept love um no excuse me four of pentacles wow four of pentacles i screwed that one up <laughs> sorry about that whoops uh-oh i should delete this and start over maybe i should i don't know but i'm not okay i do screw up on occasion there you go right on camera okay four of pentacles not four of cups <clears throat> bad me okay so four of pentacles it's a no card that is a challenging position it is a no position it is a no card she does not like being told no god forbid if you should tell her no uh holding on to a pattern 
It's, it's just basically hanging on for dear life. Uh, hanging on for dear life of materialism and trying to build up a situation so she can feel secure. Uh, and she's unwilling to share anything. So she's not going to share what she plans on doing, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and she wants to hang on to money and any kind of security she can get. She's like, her security blanket is going to be a bottle of red wine. It'll be a security blanket for Harry, too. That's what's going to calm them down and keep their sanity on Coronation Day. She tends to get intoxicated, and this was mentioned in the feed. She has a pattern of getting intoxicated. Um, and if you looked at some imagery, there was one on Twitter where... I did state that she just isn't built to be a royal because she had red, it looked like red wine spilled on her tights all by her shoes and her feet. Uh, I thought, wow, she's got red wine all over her. Um, so, you know, that's a security blanket. So she's going to go back to her original, same with Harry, the security blanket um, and what they like to possess and hang on to in that pattern of behavior they're not going to let go of is the drinking and the partying. So they're going to party down. They're going to party down. They might have their own party <laughs> individually, not together with other people. Just who can, who's going to hang out with me? God forbid, who's going to hang out with Markle? I would not know. When you get rid of everyone, you're not going to have many options here. Then we have here nine of pentacles in reverse. So she's going to feel very lonely, insecure financially, the envy of others on her own, Harry won't be with her. Uh, it's just the workaholic setback, uh, not having material success, not feeling the well-being. She's not going to be happy. She's not going to feel stable. She's not going to be confident. She's not going to feel like she accomplished anything. This is uh, independence and achievements upright. And having material success, having your cornucopia, you know, so she's just not going to feel it. She's just not going to feel any of those positive juju vibes that everybody else is going to be feeling out and across the pond. Uh, what Kate's going to be feeling, she's not going to be feeling. So lots of envy. She's going to be staring at that TV set turning literally like green, 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 green envy, green envy with the nine of pentacles in reverse and feeling very left out and lonely. I think there was uh, some kind of drop in, in, um, articles saying that she felt uh, left out and there's that feeling left out card right there so she's not going to feel like she's part of anything how dare they leave her out that's one of the worst things for a narc because they they want to be part of everything and then we have here this is a uh, kind of sideways kind of reverse more reverse facing me is the knight of wands in reverse any wand in reverse is sort of unachievable aims everything she tried to get this financial well-being contentment material success, filling her cornucopia ta table and getting all those achievements and to eliminate that envy of Kate and other people. Uh, and also so she wouldn't have to work very hard because in reverse, it's the workaholic, uh, was unachievable aims. And uh, she's not going to be able to go on any missions that day. She's going to feel like she needs um, to probably uh, set, sit back. Um, she's not going to be happy. She's going to feel like she's hitting a wall. Uh, with the wand being in reverse, you know, she's not going to have any energy, low energy, low enthusiasm, triggered in her ego. Uh, she does, she's not going to know what to do. Um, she, her, and just her movements are going to be very slow. The ambition's going to be down that day. Uh, not going to be excited whatsoever. Passion is going to be reversed because that's a red there. That's passion. So no passion for anything. Feeling lonely, left out gonna drink away both of them are gonna drink a drink away and um, just not not being able to do anything really hitting a wall just basically they are hitting a wall um, feeling dumped um, having total fallouts with everyone and everything that she did was a shallow adventure and giving up so she's not gonna feel this fearlessness in her life she's not gonna feel fearless like she can just do what she wants and get away with it she's not gonna have the charm she's not gonna have that charisma uh, she's not going to feel confident. She's not going to have that wild child feeling. <clears throat> Her ego is going to be really triggered. This is like an ego wounding because upright, that fearless new direction of the Knight of Wands is very ego driven with that charm, that charisma. Uh, I'd say Knight of Wands is fairly ego, egocentric, I would say, because they're totally fearless and nothing tends to stop them. So this is going to stop her in her tracks. 
She's just not going to feel so daring. So that daring energy is in reverse. Not getting that wild child card right there. That wild knight in reverse. Uh, let's get to the past position that doesn't serve. Past position that doesn't serve. There it is. It flipped. Ooh, that doesn't serve is the knight of cups in reverse. That would be Harry. Putting Harry in reverse. Yeah, she doesn't want him to stay the hell away from me. We're celebrating, partying, drinking separately. I don't need you. Stay away. <laughs> you're manipulating me. I don't need your manipulation. You're you're just gonna, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna even try and seduce you. That's a seduction, uh, seduction position. The Knight of Cups in reverse is a total seducer. She has no energy in her, no enthusiasm to even bother trying to seduce Harry at this point in time. So there is no seduction going on. Trying to seduce Harry is out the is out the gate. And same with Harry trying to seduce her. They're just done seducing each other. <laughs> uh, and so they're just going to try to use other people through the drinking who can emotionally regulate them. Uh, mood swings off, just mood swings everywhere. That was the other thing about talking about her uh, psychopathology is that she's incredibly moody, which, um, which really is uh, black and white thinking. Uh, one one minute you're angel, the next minute you're Satan's spawn. So, so she's right there. Harry is Satan's spawn, and she's filling the burn. And Harry's gonna think she's Satan's spawn, and they're not gonna want to have anything to do with each other. No, 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 no. Uh, uh. All right, I'm kind of liking it. Yes, and they do use other people to emotion to emotionally regulate themselves. So that's very toxic right there. Uh, it's a heartbreaker, seducer energy. Yes, no loving for you. Mm -mm. No, 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 no new suitor either. And that's because Gordon Getty says, uh, I like sex. I like women, but no in certain terms is it going anywhere past that. <laughs> so that kind of hit a wall too, right? Uh, that fickle mode is over. She can't even be fickle anymore. You know, and feeling attached is not happening. She doesn't feel attached. She's going to try to detach herself. Uh, from the situation through drinking and partying and uh, hanging on to her old old ways. Uh, let's go into the future. The future judgment. Yeah, judgment. So it's major announcement. She is going to make a major announcement. Oh, yeah, she will. That major announcement is going to be um, how happy and wonderful she is celebrating Archie's birthday on this wonderful uh, day of coronation and putting out a picture. There's that announcement. She's going to blow her horn, man. She's going to blow it far and wide. Look at my son. It's his birthday. And then she's going to probably do, I would think she's actually going to do it beforehand. I'm getting the vibes and the feelings. She's not going to do it the day of it. She's going to do it beforehand, set it up, photographs, video, whatever it is she wants to do. It's going to be calculated in advance so that that day she can collapse in alcohol and self-misery. So I don't think it's going to actually be on the day. She's not going to, she doesn't have the frame of mind for it. Uh, let's get to the feelings in the situation. Feelings in the situation. Yeah, she's going to be feeling like death, all right. Four of swords. Defeated. Totally defeated. Yep, because I'm ignored. I've got envy of others. I'm insecure. I've got money insecure. Look at, look at Kate wearing those jewelries. Look at that dress she's wearing. Look at all that money they have. Why can't they give me some of that? Uh, everything's going to feel defeated, defeated, defeated. Drink away, drink away. I married the wrong guy. I didn't get William. I got Harry and I'm not seducing him anymore. And so I'm just going to hang on to my behavior here. I don't have enough money to even be happy with this bloke. And I'm certainly no, no passion is there. And I'm not calling him in to give me company because I'm just going to spend here and be alone. And she probably won't even be with Archie. To be honest, I really feel this announcement is going to be alone, uh, calculated beforehand. And so this is totally defeated and destroyed, Four of Swords. Um, not, not feeling good whatsoever. So she's going to be in rest, healed, tormented. She's going to attempt to quiet her mind through alcohol and, and drugs and recover from the issues. She's going to feel very overwhelmed and exhausted. Not in a good headspace for headspace for either one of them. This really applies to both of them. Even Harry's gonna has this energy, so I shouldn't just say Markle. This really is Harry and Markle. Yeah, and so the outside influences is just a, a disaster. It's just a, a shake up, a shake up that's unpleasant, and they're not wait. They're they're just not looking forward to this day. 
to them it's a tower crashing and then she's going to be focusing on how do i lift myself up from the ashes how do i rise up after all this defeat misery financially broke how am i going to rise myself up is what she's going to be thinking and the other people are going to be thinking well how are they going to rise up because people are going to say wow did, did uh, harry and megan like have a major um tower crashing moment or what i'm sure they don't know what the tower card is but that's a major shocking horrible event and so to them that is a, t a tower crashing they, they are not looking forward to the coronation at all and the outside world knows it because of well south park and all the articles and all the commentary channels and all and you know everybody talking about them so they're not looking forward to and they're not looking forward to to charles uh, being king is how other people are going to see it wow they really don't want charles to be king because i wonder what he's going to do to them so people are going to be wondering what is charles going to do what is charles going to do to megan and harry to take them down uh, and how are they going to try and overcome it how are they going to rise themselves up from the situation uh yeah so good luck to that and then the hopes and fears is page of pentacles upright so page of pentacles upright that is putting out the message here's my son Woo! look him out that's my energy that's the energy i brought into the world i've got my little baby my little pentacle here uh page of pentacles is um basically putting out this offering good news she's going to make it frame it very positive look at my little boy um he's he's gaining skills he's my little student my little apprenticeship he's my little harry he's my little prince my little king um, he's doing so well in school. He's really growing up. He's building himself. He is just, you know, he's growing and she's just going to put him out as this, um, probably a prodigy, prodigy kid. Oh, he's my little prodigy. Look at my little prodigy. He's so brilliant. My little, my little brilliant boy. Maybe not say Harry. I take that back. I got a backpedal on that. <laughs> Sorry, Harry. Yes. No, not little Harry. It'll be like her. He's so smart like me. <laughs> all right uh let's get to the final outcome the final outcome the final outcome for what markle's got up her sleeve and harry and gonna going to highlight and, and make that major announcement of their little prodigy child their brilliant child who's a great student and learning and growing and make it just he's just such the smartest kid on the planet it's not the most annoying parents that you know is when they make their child out to be the most brilliant child on the planet she might do that just saying she's a narcissist that's what they do my kid is the smartest kid in the room in the in the whole, whole school okay let's get to the final outcome 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 for how she's going to paint this situation oh we got here well it's a lie y'all it's all a lie it's all a lie <laughs> go figure <laughs> The shady character lie. This is deception, total lies and deceit. Someone who works against you. People will say, wow, she's working against the royal family by putting this out on the coronation day. Wow, are we surprised? No, we're not because we knew they were crashing down and we're, they're wondering how they're going to lift themselves. I guess this is her attempt to lift herself. Total lie, works against other people and getting busted. And as people are going to see it for what it is. They're going to, everybody's going to know, oh, wow, there it is uh the dishonesty always comes to light card um you know and also uh trust has been broken and tactics every tactic she's used has not worked even this won't work because nobody cares at this point in time that you put little archie out there because no one's really truly interested at this point and even if he is quote real to a lot of people we don't know if that's really him is this another lie that you're putting out here? So people are so adjusted to her lies. They're not going to trust that either. They're going to like, okay, whose kid is that? What actor did you hire? Is that really Archie? Uh, it might not be a super clear picture then. It might be a little bit vague. She tends to do that. So people aren't going to believe it. They're going to say, lie, lie, pants on fire. That's a lie. Just another lie coming out. And we're going to figure it out because we can expose the lies. It just gives it gives it gives public media attention to say mm, we're going to expose that one and put it in reverse and, and unmask your lie. So yeah, another lie more than likely. So probably another Photoshop gig, you know, um, put on some red hair, change things up. Uh, no one's going to trust it. Lack of trust there. And uh, she's going to think that it can heal the situation. She wants to heal it. 
Uh, that is extreme pain. She's going to be in extreme pain that day uh, because she has a very unhappy situation here. She shattered uh, the emotionally shattered family, totally emotionally shattered family. And she's going to try and think this might fix things. If I put this faux picture out or whatever thing she figures out, um, uh, feeling a, a shattered, she's going to feel very emotionally shattered with the 10 of cups, not feeling like she's part of the family. Well, she isn't. She didn't want to. She never truly wanted to. So I don't know. You know, it, that's that whole weird thing about them is they create a situation and then they piss and moan and cry about it later on. She didn't want to be in the family. She never wanted to be happy. That was in the Cordier's book that they realized no matter what they did, she never wanted to be satisfied or happy. Totally indifference, empty inside, fractured psyche. She is that four of cups individual where nothing can satisfy her. She's so empty inside, nothing can satisfy her. She's very four of cups energy. And she shattered the family. She breaks and shatters every family. And she's going to say, why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep hurting families? Look what I, I did it again. I'm out. I keep shattering. So she, it's going to realize that's what's going to hit, make her hit the booze even more. She's going to start to realize I hurt everyone. I shatter everyone. I betray everyone. I am that three of swords betrayer. I will hurt everyone I get connected with. Everyone that walks in my life, I will destroy you and shatter you. She knows it. She knows it. She knows it. She knows it. She cannot deny the social media and the commentary on her psychology. She knows it. <clears throat> Next position here in the center of the situation is wheel of fortune bad karma bad luck that's that boomerang effect that negative boomerangs coming back and smacking her in the head very deserving so the boomerang effect of bad karma from her deeds is all coming back to haunt her her past is going to come back to haunt her same with harry all the the ill deeds they've done all the lies and deception is coming back to get them and people are going to say it people are probably going to make commentaries on this well it's just all coming back on them would you expect what did you expect? You shatter and break a family. You betray them. You lie to them. You're all in it for money and personal gain. What did you expect? You never had true passion. You're always feeling destroyed and, and needing rest. Uh, what do you expect? You know, you, you won't let go of this pattern of behavior. You keep doing it. Uh, so, yeah, so this is karma biting her hard, and she is sharpening her nails as we speak. She's just filing away she's giving herself a manicure karma karma's a bitch and she's giving herself a manicure and she's getting ready to put out her claws instead of megan using the megan claw it's going to be karma's a bitch and karma is putting her claws out back on you uh that's how energy works you guys um it involves your thought your behavior even your thoughts your thoughts your behavior comes back around each and every time what you put out comes right back on you and that's no different for them they are no different and that is exactly what i'm seeing here good luck with that post on archie because it's going to come back and bite you oh yes it is all right you guys till next time like and subscribe bye you guys